Hi, Hiram here. Last couple of days I've been doing some tests on this fancy feast stove. Uh, not this one actually, but fancy feast stoves where I use cat food cans with tomato paste cans with a liner of carbon felt in it. The last one I did was with this one with uh, 50,000 jets in it, 15 of them. Got an interesting time. And I've had people asking me if I try it with the large holes like on the super cat stove. So what I'm going to do in this video is I swap the bottom out and I put the super cat stove that I got from Colorado Camper in it along with the, you know, the same can, the carbon felt. And I'm going to try a boil test with this. So before everything melts down in here from the temperature, let me get my water prepped, get some alcohol in this, and I'll be right back for a test. Okay, my water's to temperature. I've got one fluid ounce of methanol in here, all ready to go. Let's go over to camera two. Okay, so I'll put the pot on, just like so. Turn off the light, and let's try lighting this. Now with all the humidity in here, I guess it's having a little bit of troubles getting the alcohol up the carbon felt. Uh, the temperature now is 83 degrees, 81 percent humidity. It's raining cats and dogs outside. So now the top, the top of the carbon felt is lit and you can see it's lighting it on the bottom. Pretty cool. Wow, big flames. Oops, so that's going to be a couple seconds short. But let's see where it goes from here. We're now two minutes into the test. The water temperature is up to 152 degrees. Uh, still a pretty big flame. I don't think there's any way that this is going to last much longer after it gets to boiling. I mean, this is a super big flame. But let's see where it goes from here. Here we have 210, 211, 212 at 338. Cool. Okay, let's see how long it goes for run out. And there the flames are dying. Just a couple of the jet holes burning. I don't know if you want to call them jet holes. And the large hole, the vent hole up on the top is still burning. But other than that, it's pretty much out. Still on that vent hole. Well, let's call it now at uh, 440. 440 and it's actually a little bit short because again I do something different and I forget to turn on the timer so you take that off and then whatever fumes are still in there burn I'll have to go back and look at the film and I'll put the time the corrected time down below but as it says right here uh, two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 3 minutes 38 seconds and then burned out in 4 minutes 40 seconds. I would say add maybe another 10 seconds onto that. With the fancy feast stove with the smaller jets, 2 cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 4 minutes 24 seconds so about a minute more minute more but then it ran until 5 minutes 20 seconds instead of running out at 440 now with the older ones with just the uh, super cat I did this one two different ways one where it was just the super cat that I got from Colorado camper and then another one where I put carbon felt on the inside just the same way it is here except in this case this can's been added uh, the super cat with without the carbon felt took five minutes and 57 seconds to come to a boil two cups of water at 61 degrees with the carbon felt inside here it was five minutes 28 seconds so it was a little bit quicker with the carbon felt on just the super cat I'll put all these numbers and stuff down below but a number of people asked for this I don't know it's a hot flame maybe something like what you'd need in the winter 
the one fluid ounce that I put in there was practically nothing in the can. I mean, there was just the barest amount of fluid sitting on the bottom. All the rest of it was sucked up into the carbon felt. So even with these holes being this far down, I'm sure you could use, I don't know what, two ounces of methanol, three ounces of methanol alcohol in there. So this might be a good configuration for the winter when you're come, you know, trying to get things warmed up, ice and snow melted. This might work out pretty cool. I can't wait until winter comes. So for those of you that asked for that combination, I'm going to call it the fancy feast stove with the super cat modification. For those of you that asked for it, I hope that helps. I thank, free, thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, uh, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max, who again is in the air conditioning. So, bye now.